Hi, I'm Sarah Todd and today I'm going to show you how to make a pavlova with that crispy outer crust and that chewy marshmallowy inside. So first up, I'll give you a few tips. So you've got to beat your egg whites until they're firm peaks before you start adding any of your sugar. So first up, a little pinch of salt into the egg whites and whisk until firm peaks. Now it's going to take a while. <laughs> So to get the perfect crispy outside and not to, um, and to stop all of the weeping of the sugar, you need to make sure it dissolves properly in the egg white. So you need to start by just adding a little bit and wait until that dissolves until you start adding the rest of the sugar. So you need to just check and make sure that you can feel all the sugars dissolved. So once it's dissolved through the egg whites, it's perfect and ready to go. So as you can see, it's nice and glossy and silky, so that's perfect. We've just got the last few ingredients to add in. So the key for uh, the crispy outside and marshmallowy inside is you need a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of vanilla for flavouring and a tiny bit of corn flour as well. So you, you need to be careful with the corn flour otherwise you can kind of taste that um, yeah, kind of bitter corn flour flavour but you need a little bit to get the, the rise in the pavlova. So add your wet ingredients. and some vinegar. You can whisk that one through. and corn flour. So that's silky goodness. It's perfect. So grab your tray. So make sure that you've um, buttered and used corn flour on top. So these can stick quite easily. So you need to make sure that you butter it and um, use corn flour really well. Make sure your oven is preheated at 150 degrees. And as soon as the pavlovas go in, you need to drop it to 110. All right. So if you like, you can use a piping bag for this, but it's a nice kind of um, rustic, beautiful way just to add little dollops onto the tray. So you can make a nice little cove um, so that you can put lots of toppings and cream and all the tasty goodness on top. So pop those ones straight into the oven at 150 degrees. So as soon as you put them in, drop it to 110 and cook it for about 40 minutes. So you want them to be white, crispy on the outside. Um, as soon as they're ready, just you can pull the door ajar slightly so a little bit of the air can kind of dry out the outside. And so they, they're crispy on the outside and nice and marshmallowy on the inside. And now for the toppings. I love to use fresh seasonal produce. So today we're using some berries, some chopped nuts, some fresh basil, and of course, some freshly whipped cream. Mm -hmm. 
That's nicely whipped up. Time to plate them up. Well, look at that. We've got beautiful, crispy outer shells with that marshmallowy inside. And now for the toppings. Got a little dollop of cream. Or a big one. <laughs> A little drizzle of raspberry coolie. So because we left the sugar out of the cream, this just adds that little bit of sweetness as well to the topping. Some fresh nuts, crushed. And now your choice of fruits. Some basil. And there you have it. It doesn't get any more Australian than that, but here's the true test. Is it crispy and is it chewy inside? Oh my gosh. Whoa, oh, looks so good. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. I miss this. <laughs> it's, you've got to try this at home. It's so chewy on the inside, the fruits are so fresh and that little bit of cream, it reminds me of Christmas and birthdays and every celebration in Australia basically. You've got to try this.